Hello, my name is Paul Wyborn and I'm a Senior Flight Instructor in the Associate Degree in Aviation here at RMIT University. I've been instructing for almost 10 years and prior to coming to RMIT, I trained airline pilots in a cadet program. I've been a flight instructor in this degree for just over two years and I'm also the course coordinator for the flight instructor rating program within the associate degree. Flying and teaching is my passion and I'm very proud to be able to inspire the future generations of flight instructors at RMIT flight training. Today I'm going to tell you a bit about RMIT's suite of aviation programs. I'll explain some of the key learning outcomes of each degree, the structure of the programs and the kinds of projects you can expect to work on as a student. These programs are world renowned and allow students to work across a variety of disciplines to replicate the real world experience they will need once they start their careers. It's my privilege to be able to be part of the education community at RMIT and I'd love to welcome you to one of our programs. Before I start, I'd like to acknowledge the people of the Woi Warang and Boon Warang language groups of the Eastern Kulin Nations, on whose unceded lands we conduct the business of the university. RMIT respectfully acknowledges their ancestors and elders, past, present and emerging. And while we conduct our work remotely, I want to pay my respect to the wider unceded lands of this nation. Aviation is a vast sector industry. It covers military, civil and general aviation and all the enabling infrastructure including airports and air traffic control. The largest sector, civil aviation, connects people, goods and countries and is recognised to provide a vital role in both social and economic development. In 2019, commercial airlines logged over 45 million flights and carried over 4.5 billion passengers. That's more than half the world's population. This was made possible by approximately 5,000 airlines operating 25,000 civil aircraft over a global route network of several million square kilometres. I hope that's motivation enough to get you involved in this vast and exciting industry through one of our aviation programs. Enrolment in either the Bachelor of Applied Science pilot stream or Associate Degree in Aviation Professional Pilots on this slide opens up opportunities to becoming either a professional pilot or undertake an exciting career in a range of operational, managerial and planning roles. RMIT have been involved in aerospace and aviation for over 75 years. RMIT flight training have been training pilots for over 25 years. With this rich history, we are able to offer a practical and industry-focused approach which provides graduates with the skills and behaviours they need to be effective and successful. One of the ways we deliver this industry-focused approach is through our partnerships you see on the right of your screen. Our partnership with Qantas is a two-year mentoring programme which I'll talk about later in this presentation and our partnership with Jetstar means that eight of our aviation and aerospace engineering students may find themselves on a summer placement program. I'll talk a little bit about the course structure for the associate degree which is divided into four semesters, two semesters in the first year, two semesters in the second year. In the associate degree first year there is theory in flying to the recreational pilot license or RPL and a couple of other subjects to be completed. The Recreational Pilot Licence is the entry level pilot licence which allows you to fly locally and has some restrictions. In semester two you'll be covering the theory and flying to private pilot licence plus human factors in aviation and then intro to commercial pilot licence. The intro to commercial pilot licence involves more flying and more theory. The private pilot licence teaches students navigational aspects of aviation required to fly from one destination to another. At RMIT we don't actually issue the private pilot licence because the commercial pilot licence supersedes this. However, students can request to undertake the flight test should they prefer to have a private pilot licence. The commercial pilot licence teaches students behavioural aspects of aviation required to operate in a commercial environment. So this is not just navigation, but also critical thinking, decision making, leadership, teamwork and threat and error management, all which are desirable behavioural aspects to operate in a professional commercial environment. In semester four, there is a fork in the road. 
and students can take either one of three options. Option one is the ATPL or Air Transport Pilot License Theory Clusters 1 and 2 plus Theory and Flying to the Instrument Rating. The Instrument Rating allows students to navigate solely by use of instruments. Option two is a University Elective plus Theory and Flying to Instructor Rating. The instructor rating is learning the theory and flying to be able to teach as an instructor. Option three is the ATPL theory clusters one and two again, plus airport and airline operations and a university elective. The Bachelor of Applied Science is a three-year program. So in other words, six semesters, two per year. For the aviation management stream, there are 24 courses over the three years, which is six per semester. The management stream allows considerable flexibility through a total of six electives that enable you to follow a particular theme, such as developing language skills, should you so wish. The piloting stream has 17 such courses, supplemented by seven practical flying courses taken with RMIT flight training at Point Cook. The piloting program allows students to gain an RPL, PPL and CPL, similar to the associate degree, in addition to the bachelor's degree itself. Let's look at some of the facilities. Flight training is conducted out of either one of two campuses. I'll talk a little bit about Point Cook first. These are modern facilities which include three state-of-the-art flight simulation training devices. The facilities are located at the oldest operating Air Force base in the world and they occupy part of the Royal Australian Air Force buildings. Apart from the occasional military and civil aircraft, RMIT flight training are the main users of the airport, giving RMIT students a unique advantage over the type of airspace usage you might find at other airports. RMIT flight training has a modern fleet of aircraft with approximately 22 Cessna and Piper type aircraft with glass cockpit display and that is where information is provided to the pilots through LCD monitors similar to what you might see in a larger jet aircraft. At our Bendigo campus recent local government investment in the airport has seen the upgrading of airport facilities including the terminal building as well as a brand new 1500 meter long runway. Our campus features a 2,500 square foot hangar and classrooms and the same technology seen at Point Cook campus to deliver theory classes either remotely or face to face. Newly acquired Cessna 172 aircraft with glass cockpits and again with a state of the art simulator. We use the Bundora campus for the Bachelor of Applied Science Aviation. At that campus, there is lots of space with modern lecture theatres and lots of open space lending itself for opportunities to fly drones outdoors. The simulators are primarily there for research purposes. Let's now take a look at one of our students, Kerry Phillips, and her experience of undertaking the course. Kerry took part in an Airbus-sponsored Fly Your Ideas competition. Her team made the finals in France. They had proposed a novel firefighting aircraft based on the Airbus A400M. They were flown to Toulouse and hosted by Airbus, and after all five groups had presented their concept studies, Kerry's team came second. There was a cash prize and lots of kudos for the students at RMIT. She's now chosen the piloting stream and is working towards her commercial pilot license. Kerry is a STEM advocate which aims at promoting the disciplines of science, technology, engineering and mathematics to members of the community whom are underrepresented in those disciplines. She is also a women in aviation advocate which aims at the promotion of women's involvement in aviation from aero clubs to airlines. Kerry is also involved in the educational promotion of STEM through Indigenous peoples. I'll talk now a little bit about our industry partners. We have industry partnerships whom we work with at various levels. You can see the extensive list on this screen. Through these partnerships, the Bachelor Program often will invite guest lecturers, take part in professional events and run promotional events. Our partnership with Qantas is through the Qantas Future Pilot Program, or QFPP, a two-year mentoring program giving eligible candidates exposure to Qantas personnel from the chief pilot of Qantas Link, captains and first officers of their Q3 and 400 operations, through to flight operations personnel. They run development programs throughout the duration of your course. 
Successful candidates who meet the eligibility criteria may be offered an opportunity to attend the Qantas airline transition course, and upon successful completion, they may end up with a letter of offer for employment at QantasLink. The list of industry partners you see is not an exclusive list, as new partnerships occur at any time. One emerging industry in both civil and defence is the drone industry. With Bandura campus having so much open space, it provides plenty of opportunities to fly drones outdoors. RMIT's recent partnership with the Australian Transport Safety Bureau means that we are the preferred training provider for transport safety investigator qualifications required to work in the Bureau as an accident investigator. I'll talk a little bit about our global opportunities. There are plenty of opportunities to study abroad through our Global Mobility Program. There are costs involved, but this is an exciting opportunity to get involved and get some overseas experience. Our Korea Aerospace University International Summer Program takes place in year two in the Bachelor Program through mid-semester break, and that is conducted in Seoul in South Korea. The new Colombo plan funding worth 7000 each is available to allow up to five aviation students to study at our partner institute, VTC, in Hong Kong in year two, semester two. Again, and that is in the bachelor program. And again in the bachelor program, RMIT has returned hosted five students from VTC Hong Kong who take one semester of their RMIT aviation program here in Melbourne. I'll take a little bit of time now to discuss career outcomes. Pre-COVID, Boeing forecast over 220,000 new commercial pilots will be required by 2034 in the Asia-Pacific region alone, and over 600,000 globally. Industry recovery will get underway in the next two years, and domestic demand is likely to recover first, so now is a great time to launch your career in aviation. Opportunities can extend from pilot to chief pilot to airline management and airport planning. These programs create great pathways into some very exciting careers in aviation. Turning now to some of our alumni, I'd like to introduce you to Zach Catlin. He's now graduated with the Bachelor. He has a CPL and is now working towards his multi-engine command instrument rating. He's the first Indigenous student to complete the Aviation Bachelor's program. He took the piloting option, as you can see in the picture. He's now looking towards a career in charter and then airlines further down the track. He's a real advertisement for what young Indigenous students can achieve. Let me end by saying thank you for taking the time to hear about our fantastic aviation programs at RMIT. For more information about teacher education at RMIT, check out our website or call study at RMIT on 9925 2260. Take care and have a nice day.